What's poppin' y'all? Sean D, back with another video. I ain't gonna lie, that took like four takes just to get that right. What's up to all y'all who subscribe to the channel? Because I know that a lot of people who have subscribed to my channel never seen a video since the one where I talked about going to jail about selling the phone offer up. Because I know a lot of people have subscribed since that video and they haven't seen me upload anything since then. So, I'm gonna let y'all know why I haven't uploaded since then, where I've been, what's been going on, and it's gonna be a quick video, not nothing too long, just, you know what I mean, just going over a lot of the shit that I've been going through. A lot of changes, man, and I haven't forgot about y'all, or forgot about YouTube, but YouTube just wasn't a priority at the time. Um, and the next thing is that, to be keep it 100, I'm not a person who's gonna upload anything just to make a video, like, I'm not, I ain't got nothing to talk about, nothing to show y'all. Just don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm gonna get back to this YouTube thing. I don't wanna make any more promises. I've been promising y'all videos for a minute now. And we all know how that's been going. Yeah. Um, start my own company. If you guys are subscribers, which most of you guys probably are, you can go back to my last videos. You heard me speak about being an entrepreneur, young CEO, that's on my Instagram thing, even though I don't use my Instagram. But that don't say that, that's not bullshit. Like that's literally, that's just fact. And I want to use that to inspire other people, especially people who look like me, to our company where I come from or who can relate. Like most of you guys who subscribe to me can relate to me and I respect that. Let you guys know that you guys can do whatever the hell y'all want to do. Um, I lately started my business for $800. Uh, and now we did over 100, 100K in our first year. It hasn't been a year yet because I started the business in August of 2018. It's now July of 2018. So next month we'll make it a year. And like I said, I started with 800 bucks and I can show y'all real quick. Um, it's gonna be just a quick overview of my uh, QuickBooks. I don't wanna go too in depth on it, but I do feel that going forward, this is where my channel is gonna go because this is gonna take me to the next level where I can commit to the YouTube 100%. I can, well not 100%, but have more content because I'm not tied up at a job or whatever the case may be. And I can make content about my life and where I'm going that can maybe inspire you guys. Because the YouTubers I watch, um, they inspire me. But I want to say this real quick before I show you. I know I'm rambling. But I want to say this while I don't offend nobody and mostly I get what I'm saying. A lot of YouTubers that I watch, like my favorite YouTuber, you heard me say this before, is Casey Neistat, hands down the best, the GOAT, whatever. I like Daily Driven Exotics, I'm into cars, I like, I like cash, and I, I like a lot of people. But, there's not many of them that I can sit down and look at, like, damn, I can 100% relate to them. Or, damn, I can, I see myself in them. Because, none of the big YouTubers that I watch, maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's people out there that I haven't found yet, or haven't come across yet, but I just, as a person, not saying I love their content, I love what they do, and I'm keep rocking with them, keep watching them, keep supporting them, but they don't, I don't see myself in them. They don't motivate, let me not say that, they do motivate me, but only one person I could probably say I do, as DJ goes, because I could. I feel like we come from the same, we come from the same cloth, put it that way. Based off what I see, he reminds me of people I grew up with. He like, you know what I'm saying? I can see myself in him, so I'm happy for all his success. Other than that, I can't really think of him by that. You know what I'm saying? I really relate to it like that. But anyway, back to this. 12 months, we did 107K. You can see, that's, that number actually needs to be updated a bit, because there were some invoices that came through late. So we're about like 115-ish. Um, you can see February is our best month. Uh, you can see this year, we made 36K. And last year, because this this shows right here shows the 12 months. Right here only shows this year. Remember, we started in 2018 of August, so it hasn't been a year yet. But we started 2018. Sorry, I got, I got the screen door open. You can hear the truck in the background. My bad. So that's 15k, and then you just add uh, this year. It's 36k. So that shows you how much we made, and our expenses this year was. So wait, sorry. Sorry, go back to this. So that means that profit within less than a year was $56,000. About $54,000, sorry. Um, whatever, 54 minus 107, you know the expenses. Whatever. So that's what y'all can see I've been putting my all into. 
Um, I think that's where my channel is going, to be honest. I think that's where my channel is going, to be honest. I think I want to show you guys what I do, how I do it, but not going too in depth about it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're selling a product more than a service, you ain't gonna like to hear this. I'm not trying to offend nobody by saying this, but facts is fact. Optics matter. What I mean by that is, quick example. If I own a restaurant, I own a restaurant. Matter of fact, if you go to a restaurant and the restaurant is dope, the food is fire, it's great. Great reviews, everything popping about the restaurant. And there's this guy that walks in every day that looks bummy, looks dirty, doesn't bathe, nothing. Right? And then, what if one day somebody looks at you and says, you know that's the owner? You'd be like, him? It's his place? What's gonna happen? If people were to find out that this dusty looking XYZ was the uh, owner, that's gonna already put you in your mind like, bro, I don't think I'm gonna eat here again. You're gonna start making up things in your own mind that why this place is trash, why it's not worth your service anymore, whatever the case may be. So, keep it on honey, I know my stuff is fire. I know everything that I put into my company is top notch. And you wouldn't make 107 k in your first year if it wasn't. And we took some time off just to reformulate everything, get everything right, you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't want to ramble too long. I just probably, what, a couple minutes long? So that's that, man. Um, I've just been grinding, y'all. Like I said, man, shit been rough, a lot of ups and downs. Just been going through a lot, y'all. And this is to show y'all, man, don't let nothing stop y'all if y'all are going through things. Because then day, you see me on a camera and you probably like, bro, just look at him, bro. Like, he, he's straight. It ain't, it ain't always cracked up to be. And I know y'all going through a lot of stuff too. And any day, man, you gotta keep pushing because this world ain't gonna stop. And to reach my goals, I'm trying to go. Anybody gonna feel sorry for me? There's a lot of self-reflecting and say, you know what, Sean, this would you wanna go? And ain't nobody gonna stop you from getting there but you. You can sulk and, 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 and pity and, and, and want pity from people. It ain't gonna happen, dog. So this is my focus. I'm channeling all my focus here. I took some crazy risks doing my business. I, I just, sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith and I see tall guy car, car reviews speak about this shit all the time, bro. Take a leap of faith, take a leap of faith. So any of y'all who going through something, bro, it's going to pass. And that's the thing because we sit here and we, um, we soak in the moment and a lot of us, a lot of us humans, a lot of us people do not like change. They're afraid of change. But what you have to realize is that I'm afraid of change for the most part. I thought I was until I realized, until I came to this conclusion in my mind, like, dog, every time you worry about something too much or you're scared about the change and it, and it just, sometimes it just happens without you even wanting it to happen, you always look back on it and be like, damn, bro, I'm happy that shit, I'm happy that happened. Like, I never thought it would have worked out this way. That's the thing. It always works out every single time. It always works out. Always works out. And you always learn something about yourself. And what I've been learning is that my, my confidence is through the roof now, bro. Like on another level. There's nothing I don't feel I can, I can do. And the thing is that now with me doing what I'm doing and going as hard as I'm going, I know I'm be successful. I know where I'm going. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting there. And now at this point, it's like, yo, I'm trying to bring as many people on board as possible. And many people that I care about, love, are close to me. And when I realized by doing that, you always gotta be real with yourself. A lot of these dudes, a lot of these people ain't built for that. And my mom just always, always says to me, what's your dream might not be somebody else's dream. So don't let nobody stop you. Because I try to bring so many people on board with me, dog. And when they don't see results right away, they just start fading all over the place, fading. So that day, man, I'm rambling too long. I think I'm like for six minutes, maybe I'll end this video. But it's where I've been. I'm gonna try to get back to it. I'm really gonna try, but like I said, I'm not gonna bring out no BS content. This is this is right here is BS content. But this is just me keeping 100 with y'all. And I feel like I'm good at this, just talking. Like, I can talk and I can keep 100. But playing out a video and stuff like that, I'm not gonna lie, my life ain't that interesting right now. 
if you look at a lot of YouTubers, their their life wasn't that interesting when they were working or they were doing other things that took time away from their YouTube aspirations. But when they when they grind and they have people like y'all subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and like and all that good stuff through the rough times they put themselves in a situation where they can go ahead and focus on youtube and make better content because now their time is fully devoted on their youtube and whatever the hell they're doing that that doesn't keep them locked up in the office for, for eight hours a day you feel me so that's me rambling any day this just to tell y'all bro keep pushing any of y'all going through nothing keep pushing if y'all need any 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 type of advice any whatever hit me up hit my ig up um i don't really use ig but if y'all hit me up on it i definitely will answer i just don't post pictures or follow people or actual followers whatever y'all do but i'll definitely be responsive on it um i don't, hold on, I don't know what my ig is bro let me see what my ig is my bad Oh, Shaw D TV. S H A W N D E E T V. That's my IG. Hit me up if y'all gonna do anything, y'all need anything, bro. Salute. Subscribe.